Happy to be here with you all. I'm going to be running us through our 2018 mostly street model lineup. Um, so at IMS every year, we showcase one of our best-selling off-road motorcycles, the 500 EXC. But for this year, we decided to switch that out with a bike that's all new for us and we're very excited to have our new fuel-injected two-stroke, our 250 XCW TPI. TPI standing for transfer port injection. So um, now you can take those trips down to Baja, you know, multiple days, stop at gas stations, uh, fill up without any need to premix your fuel, or head up into the Sierra Mountains without ever needing to fiddle with your jetting again. Um, we're really happy to have this technology for KTM and offer it to our customers. Um, now we're going to move on to our street model lineup in a bike that is an entry point to our brand, but not exactly an entry level motorcycle. That is our 390 Duke and RC390. Uh, both of these bikes for 2017 received new drive by wire, um, as well as the Duke seeing a lot of upgrades like the TFT dash, uh, LED headlight, upgraded suspension, and new for 2018 is going to be the KTM MyRide that's going to come standard. So now you can connect your cell phone to the dash, answer calls, change music, um, pretty cool stuff. Um, an ongoing racing project that we've had with the uh, RC390 here is uh, our partnership with Moto America and the RC Cup. It's a spec series all on KTMs with the goal of growing youth road racing. Um, and that's been going for three years and it's been very successful. Um, we've seen riders move through the field um, into the 600s and some even to the thousands. Um, but for 2018, Moto America has decided to switch that um, platform up a little bit and they're going to go to the Junior Cup, which is going to be a class that's open to all manufacturers. Um, so maybe... Uh, Look for some news here in the future from the Ready to Race brand and our RC390. Um, moving along to a bike that is our strongest single cylinder engine. It holds our strongest single cylinder engine, our 690 Duke for 2018 with new uh, color trim and graphics. Um, you know, this is a staple to our street brand and uh, still best in class power to weight ratio. Um, our Duke model range is always expanding, as a lot of you guys probably saw with the release of our parallel twin engine, a 790 Duke at ICMA. Um, we're, we were really excited to you know, introduce that bike, but a little bit sad that we couldn't introduce it here at IMS. I know a lot of you are expecting to see it. It's going to be a 2019 model for North America. So don't worry, it'll be here soon. Time has a way of flying by. I know all of us are guilty of saying it. Um, so that bike will be here soon. Then we're going to move on to a bike that is special to me and my personal favorite. Um, a bike that was able to get me my first world record um, and holds the course record on Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, the 1290 Super Duke R. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Pikes Peak, it's uh, a race. It's a race that's all pavement now. It has been for the past six years. It's 156 turns, 13 miles, and it tops out at a summit of over 14,000 feet. I was able to win that race in my first attempt with this bike. Uh, it made for probably the most intense nine minutes and 49 seconds I've ever spent on a motorcycle. Um, you know. It's the type of race that you become to, you learn to love and hate. Uh, it's a week-long event. It starts at 4 a.m. the morning almost every day. You're on top of the mountain. You're riding and practicing before the sun comes up, and you're coming down the mountain at 8.30 in the morning. So you get very little track time. And then it becomes race day, and you, you grid up. You get no warm-up. You get no sighting lap. 
and you have to completely trust in yourself as well as your equipment. And this is the bike that allowed me to do that. Um, you know, it's some of the features on this bike, like it's uh, nine stage traction control with the track pack, uh, lean angle sensitive ABS, that was able to give me the confidence in the motorcycle to set the, world, the record on Pike's Peak. Um, so a lot of people have asked me about the bike build. Uh, I think assuming because it's a KTM project that uh, they're assuming it is some type of factory built motorcycle. Well, the truth of the matter is, is the bike was built completely in the media department by me and the help of some of the other guys. Um, thank you. <laughs> and uh, it was built completely with KTM's power parts. Um, the power parts, it's a, it's a huge part of KTM's dealer business, our pg a power parts, power wear. So whether you want to customize your bikes with heated grips and a heated seat, and as you can see, a lot of the power parts are on some of our bikes, like our 1290 there and our 1290 Super Duke there. Whether it's just heated grips and a heated seat or you're building and prepping a full race bike to be able to go set a world record on Pikes Peak Mountain, KTM has us covered. That's what this brand is about, is uh, delivering on a racing platform. So now I'm gonna move along to our uh, adventure model lineup and two bikes that were debuted in 2017, the 1090 Adventure R and the 1290 Super Adventure R. Um, so far, these bikes have been great in our market for 2017. When KTM builds adventure bikes, we build them to be taken off-road. Um, and if you happen to be Mike Lafferty or Quinn Cody, you also race them off-road. Mike Lafferty is an eight-time national enduro champion who took his 1090 and entered it in a national enduro race this year and finished 116th out of 400 riders, all those other riders being on proper-built enduro dirt bikes. Quinn Cody, who's a four-time Baja 1000 winner, he took his 1090R and entered it into the Red Bull Romaniacs, which most of you know is known to be one of the hardest four enduro, hardest, excuse me, one of the hardest hard enduro stage races in the world, and he finished. Um, we're constantly pushing this segment to the max, but we're not exactly finding the limits. And this is, again, what our company is about. We're taking racing and we're turning it into R&D and then we're offering it to our customers. So moving on to a bike that is new for 2018 in North America and we're very excited to have is this bike right here. This is the 1290 Super Adventure S. And the Super Adventure S has a lot of similar features that the uh, 1290R has, like the LED headlight, massive 6.5 inch, T TFT dash, um, four modes of traction control, and lean angle sensitive ABS. Um, the differences of what this gets is 17 inch cast aluminum wheels, fully um, adjustable WP semi-active suspension, and a little bit larger windscreen for a ride that's more well-mannered on the pavement, but still completely capable of being taken off-road. I'm really excited to have this bike in our 2018 model lineup.